Hi, we're just going to demonstrate the effect of static electricity on the weights uh, as indicated on our RCBS uh, Charge Master. So we'll get a, a photo here of the impact of static. So explain what just happened. Well, what just happened, I just took a brush went over at very slow speed so there's no air currents, no other impacts on the RCBS charger, just the static that's inherent in the tray of the uh, charger itself. Probably a solution to that might be one of the aluminum pans. What, what did you see to make you realize that happened? Um, what happened was when we calibrated the unit, we saw that it weighed 155.9, but then between charges we saw that, wait a second, when I took the tray off, it showed 155.6. So there was a difference there. So I thought, well, let me just see if I can use a Swiffer, which we haven't used yet, to take away some static. But in the meantime, I just said, let me take something metal and put it across the plate there. And sure enough, just a little bit of metal in the brush, evidently, is enough to impact the static field on the unit there. Could be the metal or the uh, poly in the Brush, could be, that. could be, but something is impacting the static. Yeah. On so that. we saw a three tenth of a grain change just by moving the powder brush over top of the platen without touching it or creating an air current. Yeah, right now it says fifty five six. Got to a peak of fifty six point four. So uh, that was almost a full grain, grain difference. Yeah. Almost a full grain difference. Now, would the, uh, when you throw the actual powder into the tray though, it, went for, it goes from zero up to your amount, so maybe it doesn't matter. It's just hard for us to say, but I think maybe the solution is to keep, um, is to put an aluminum pan on there and to occasionally get the static off the unit. Yep. 56.4, it did the same thing with a different brush. Okay. Again, slowly so there are no air currents. Yep. Yep, same thing. 